Pittsburgh Pirates, Wikipedia article audio. The Pittsburgh Pirates are an American professional baseball team based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Pirates compete in Major League Baseball as a member club of the National League Central Division. The Pirates play their home games at PNC Park, the team previously played at Forbes Field and Three Rivers Stadium the latter of which was named after its location near the confluence of the Allegheny, Monongahela, and Ohio Rivers. Founded on October 15, 1881 as Allegheny, the franchise has won five World Series championships. The Pirates are also often referred to as the Bucks or the Buchos. Franchise History the franchise joined the NL in its eighth season in 1887 and was competitive from its early years, winning three NL titles from 1901 to 1903, playing in the inaugural World Series in 1903 and winning their first World Series in 1909 behind Honus Wagner. The Pirates have had many ups and downs during their long history most famously winning the 1960 World Series against the New York Yankees on a game-winning walk-off home run by Bill Mazeroski, the only time that Game 7 of the World Series has ever ended with a home run. They also won the 1971 World Series, led by the talent of Roberto Clemente, and the 1979 World Series under the slogan We Are Family, led by Pops Willie Stargell. After a run of regular season success in the early 1990s, the Pirates struggled mightily over the following 20 years, with 20 consecutive losing seasons from 1993 to 2012 a Euro the longest such streak in North American professional sports history a Euro before posting a winning record in 2013 of 94 a Euro 68, qualifying them for the NL wild card. They advanced to the NL Division Series round, where they lost in five games to the St. Louis Cardinals. The Pirates made the playoffs in both 2014 and 2015, losing in the wild card game both times. Rivalries Professional baseball has been played in the Pittsburgh area since 1876. The teams of the era were independents, barnstorming throughout the region and not affiliated with any organized league, though they did have salaries and were run as business organizations. On October 15, 1881, the strongest team in the area joined the American Association as a founding member to begin play in 1882. Their various home fields in the 19th century were in a then-separate city called Allegheny City, across the Allegheny River from Pittsburgh. The team was listed as Allegheny in the standings, and was sometimes called the Alleghenies in the same generic way that teams from Boston, New York, and Chicago were sometimes called the Bostons, the New Yorks, and the Chicagos, in the sports writing style of that era. After five mediocre seasons in the AA, Pittsburgh became the first AA team to switch to the older National League in 1887. At this time, the team renamed itself the Pittsburgh Alleghenies, although Allegheny remained a separate city until it was annexed by Pittsburgh in 1907. At that time, owner-manager Horace Phillips sold the team to Dennis McKnight, Phillips stayed on as manager. Historical Before the 1890 season, nearly all of the Allegheny's best players bolted to the Players League s Pittsburgh Burgers. The Players League collapsed after the season, and the players were allowed to go back to their old clubs. However, the Alleghenies also scooped up highly regarded second baseman Lou Bierbauer, who had previously played with the AA's Philadelphia Athletics. 
Although the Athletics had failed to include Beer Bauer on their reserve list, they loudly protested the Allegheny's move. In an official complaint, an AA official claimed the Allegheny's signing of Beer Bauer was piratical. This incident quickly accelerated into a schism between the leagues that contributed to the demise of the AA. Although the Alleghenies were never found guilty of wrongdoing, they made sport of being denounced for being piratical by renaming themselves the Pirates for the 1891 season. The nickname was first acknowledged on the team's uniforms in 1912. Philadelphia Phillies The Pirates were a strong team in the early 1900s, winning National League pennants from 1901 a Euro 1903 and taking their first World Series title in 1909. They again won the NL in 1925 and 1927 and the World Series in 1925. After a slow period, they returned to dominance and won the 1960 World Series. 1971 World Series and 1979 World Series. They won Eastern Division titles from 1990 a Euro 1992 but did not return to the postseason after that until 2013. Within the Central Division on opening day 2015 the Pirates' loss to the Cincinnati Reds represented its 10,000th franchise loss since moving to the NL. This made the Pirates the fourth MLB team to achieve this distinction, following the Philadelphia Phillies, Atlanta Braves, and Chicago Cubs. Their victory over the Colorado Rockies later in 2015 on September 24 made them the seventh team in MLB history to reach 10,000 wins. Current Roster The rivalry between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Pirates was considered by some to be one of the best rivalries in the National League. The rivalry started when the Pittsburgh Pirates entered the NL in 1887, four years after the Phillies. The Phillies and the Pirates had remained together after the National League split into two divisions in 1969. During the period of two-division play, the two National League East division rivals won the two highest numbers of division championships reigning almost exclusively as NL East champions in the 1970s and again in the early 1990s. The Pirates 9, the Phillies 6, together, the two teams' 15 championships accounted for more than half of the 25 NL East championships during that span. Players Baseball Hall of Fame Ford C. Frick Award Recipients Team Captains After the Pirates moved to the National League Central in 1994, the teams face each other only in two series each year and the rivalry has diminished. However, many fans, especially older ones, retain their dislike for the other team with regional differences between eastern and western Pennsylvania still fueling the rivalry. The Pirates have long-standing, albeit sometimes dormant, rivalries with their fellow NL Central Division teams, including the Cincinnati Reds, St. Louis Cardinals, Milwaukee Brewers, and the Chicago Cubs. The intensity of the rivalries often depend upon the competitiveness of the teams involved during that season. Pitchers Catchers Infielders Outfielders Pitchers Catchers Infielders 76 Dara O. Agrazel, 43 Stephen Brault 30 Kyle Crick, 77 Luis Escobar, 45 Michael Feliz, 24 Tyler Glasno, 68 Clay Holmes Asterisk, 49 Nick Kingham, 70 George Contis, 
39 Chad Cole, 52 Jack Leathersich Asterisk, 51 Jordan Milbreth, 59 Joe Musgrove, 66 Davidas Nevroskas, 46 Eva N. Nova, 73 Felipe Rivero, 37 Edgar Santana, 31 AJ Skigal, 53 Josh Smoker, 50 Jameson Talon, 34 Trevor Williams. Outfielders Manager Coaches 60-day disabled list Restricted list 37 active, 3 inactive, 24 non-roster invitees 7 or 10-day disabled list, asterisk not on active roster, a Euro suspended list, roster, coaches, and NRI's updated March 12, 2018, transactions a Euro sent depth chart, a all MLB rosters. Jake Beckley asterisk, Bird B11, Jim Bunning, Max Carey, Jack Kespro, Fred Clark 1, Roberto Clemente, Joe Cronin. Kiki Coiler, Barney Dreyfus A Euro, Frankie Frisch 1, Pud Galvin, Goose Gossage, Hank Greenberg, Burley Grimes, Ned Hanlon 2, Billy Herman 1. Wade Hoyt, Joe Kelly, George Kelly, Ralph Kiner, Chuck Klein, Freddie Lindstrom, Al La Superscript 3 Pez 2, Connie Mack 2, Heine Manish. Rabbit Maronville, Bill Mazeroski, Bill McKechnie 2, Hank O'Day 3, Branch Ricky A. Euro, Billy Southworth 2, Willie Stargell, Casey Stengel 2, Pi Trainer 1. Desi Vance, Arky Vaughn, Rube Waddell, Honus Wagner Asterisk 1, Lloyd Wayner, Paul Wayner Asterisk, Deacon White, Vic Willis. Milo Hamilton Bob Prince Retired Numbers Along with the league-wide retired number of 42, there are nine retired Pirates jersey numbers at this time. As of February 6, 2014, Bill Mazeroski is the lone survivor of Pirates with retired numbers. Throughout the 1940s Pirates owner William Benzwanger was a leading advocate of integration of the major leagues, once planning a tryout for African-American players to sign up for the club. The Pirates organization was the first in baseball to have both an African-American coach and manager, when Gene Baker broke the color line in 1961 and 1962 respectively. On September 21, 1963 the Pirates were the first MLB team to have an African-American manager in Gene Baker, as he filled in for Danny Murtaugh. On September 1, 1971, manager Murtaugh assembled a starting lineup that was completely composed of minorities for the first time in MLB history. Despite having some notable fans including former part owner Bing Crosby, Michael Keaton, Regis Philbin, and Kermit the Frog, the Pirates are considered by most to be a distant third in Pittsburgh behind the Pittsburgh Steelers and Pittsburgh Penguins in popularity among Pittsburgh's three major professional sports teams. However, due to their long history in Pittsburgh dating back to the 1882 season, the team has retained a strong loyal following in the Pittsburgh region, especially among older residents. Upon the team ending their 20-season streak with a losing record in 2013, the fan support for the club has grown once again but still remaining a distant third behind the city's other two more relevant sports franchises. While the team's recent struggles compared to Pittsburgh's other two teams can be partly to blame and the Penguins the Stanley Cup five times in 1991, 1992, 2009, 2016, 
and 2017, including both in 2009, distractions off the field have also caused the team's popularity to slip in the city. While the team was ranked first in Pittsburgh as recent as the late 1970s, the Pittsburgh drug trials in 1985 and two relocation threats since are believed to have also seen the team's popularity dipped. The team's standing among fans has, however, improved along with the team on the field and the opening of PNC Park in 2001. Each year, the Pirates recognize six community champions during a special pre-game ceremony. Franchise Records Pirate Fest is a yearly event that is held by the Pittsburgh Pirates in January. The event is, in essence, a baseball carnival for the whole family. It features autograph sessions from current and former Pirates players and coaches, live events and games, carnival booths, baseball clinics, Ask Pirates Management, and appearances by the Pirate Parrot. Pirate Fest is held at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center in downtown Pittsburgh. One Loss Records First in MLB Accomplishments 29 Francisco Cervelli, 32 Ella Azda AZ, 58 Jacob Stallings 55 Josh Bell, 26 Adam Frazier 23 David Fries, 5 Josh Harrison, 10 Jordy Mercer, 19 Colin Moran, 38 Max Maroff, 36 Josa Copyright Osuna, 3 Sean Rodriguez. Minor League Affiliations 44 Chris Bostick, 92 Bryce Brents, 12 Corey Dickerson, 47 Jordan Luplo. 6 Starling Mart, 17 Austin Meadows Asterisk, 25 Gregory Polanco. Civil Rights Advocacy Fanbus 64 Tyler Epler, 80 Yudi Garcia, 67 Tyler Jones, 74 Damian Magnifico, 78 Brett McKinney, 84 Alex McRae. 48 Richard Rodriguez, 65 Casey Sadler, 35 Bo Schultz, 41 Kevin Segrist, 60 John Stilson, 82 Jinda Yahang, 83 Christian Kelly, 63 Ryan Lavernway, 79 Jackson Williams, 72 Kevin Kramer, 71 Kevin Newman, 81 Pablo Reyes, 88 Cole Tucker, 62 Eric Weiss, 61 Eric Wood, 27 Todd Cunningham, 90 Jason Martin, 15 Daniel Nava, 91 Brian Reynolds, 13 Clint Hurdle, 86 Huberto Andrade, 18 Camara Barti, 2 Jeff Branson, 89 Jordan Comedina, 28 Joey Cora, 85 Dave Jaus, 75 Jeff Livesey, 87 Justin Meckage, 14 Tom Prince, 56 Euclides Rojas, 54 Ray Searage. In 2007, the Pirates chose to end the longest relationship between a team and a radio station in American professional sports. KDKA first broadcast the Pirates on August 5, 1921, with Westinghouse foreman Harold Arlen behind the mic. Broadcasts ended in 1924, but returned in 1936. Except for a few years on WWSW in the late 1940s and early 1950s, the Pirates were on KDKA for 61 years. KDKA's 50,000-watt clear channel enabled Pirates fans across the eastern half of North America at night to hear the games. 57 Nick Birdie Community Activities 
That changed for the 2007 season, when the Pirates moved to FM talk radio station WPGB. The Pirates cited the desire to reach more people in the 25A Euro 54 age bracket coveted by advertisers. The acquisition of the rights means that Clear Channel Communications holds the rights to every major sports team in Pittsburgh. The Pirates have long had a radio network that has extended across four states. Stations for the 2007 season included Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, and Maryland radio broadcasters. On October 1, 2011, Clear Channel announced that they will not renew their deal with the Pirates. It was speculated that the club's radio broadcasting rights would likely be transferred back to CBS Radio via FM Sports Radio Station KDKA-FM, which became official on October 12. On March 2, 2016 it was announced a new deal was reached for the Pirates to remain on KDKA-FM. As part of the deal, KDKA airs any games that KDKA-FM can't air due to conflicts with Pittsburgh Panthers football and men's basketball. 16 Young Ho Kong, 69 Nick Turley Radio and Television Games are televised on AT&T Sport Net Pittsburgh, the Pirates' cable television outlet since 1986, when it was known as KBL. During the 2016 season, the Pirates averaged a 7.22 rating and 83,000 viewers on primetime TV broadcasts. Apart from any Pirates games aired nationally on Fox, there has been no over-the-air coverage of the Pirates since 2002, when some games were on WCWB. KDKA TV aired Pirates games for 38 years. Games aired on WPXI and on WPGH-TV and WCWB. Announcers Greg Brown, Bob Walk, John Winner, and Steve Blass shuttle between the radio and TV booths. After the departure of play-by-play -play announcer Tim Navarrett, who accepted a play-by-play -play radio position with the Boston Red Sox following the 2015 season, Former Milwaukee Brewers announcer Joe Block began play-by-play -play duties beginning with the 2016 season. Former Pirates closer Kent Tuckolf, a member of the team's 1979 World Series championship team, served as a post-game analyst for the team on AT&T Sport Net Pittsburgh. Tuckolf announced his retirement at the end of the 2017 season. Figures with Broadcasting Resuma Copyright S. On October 1, 2008, longtime play by play announcer Lanny Frater retired after 33 seasons, having called Pirates games since the 1976 season. He is the longest tenured announcer in Pirates history, surpassing the man he replaced, the late Bob Prince. 1,888, Allegheny's Logo Logos and Uniforms 1900A Euro 1906 1907 1908A Euro 1909 1915A Euro 1919-1921-1932 1922 1923A Euro 1931 1933A Euro 1935 1936A Euro 1947 1948A Euro 1959 1960A Euro 1967 1968A Euro 1986 1987A Euro 1996 1997A Euro 2013 
1.2014 a euro present, secondary logo. 1997 a euro 2009, alternate logo. 2010 a euro present, alternate logo. 2013 a euro present. The Pirates have had many uniforms and logo changes over the years with the only consistency being the P on the team's cap. It was adopted in 1948. Aside from style changes in the cap itself, the P logo has remained since. The Pirates have long been innovators in baseball uniforms. In 1948, the team broke away from the patriotic red, white, and blue color scheme when they adopted the current black and gold color scheme, to match that of the colors of the flag of Pittsburgh and, to a lesser extent at the time, the colors of the then relatively unknown Pittsburgh Steelers of the NFL. While they were not the first baseball team to do this, they were one of the first to do this permanently. Along with the San Francisco Giants, the Pirates are one of two pre-expansion National League teams that completely changed their colors, although red returned as an accent color in 1997 and remained until 2009. In the late 1950s, the team adopted sleeveless jerseys. While not an innovation by the team, the Pirates did help to popularize the look. The team brought back the vested jerseys in 2001, a style they retained until 2009, although the away jerseys said Pittsburgh in script instead of Pirates. In 2009, they introduced a new home, away and alternate black jersey all with sleeves. However, they kept the pinstriped sleeveless vest for Sunday home games. To coincide with the move into Three Rivers Stadium in 1970, the team introduced pullover spandex uniforms, the first such team in baseball, and a look that would quickly be adopted by most other teams by the end of the decade. The Pirates ditched the pullover style in favor of the traditional button-down style in 1991, one of the last teams to switch. The Pirates were also innovators in third jerseys. Even though it would be the Oakland A's that would beat them to having such jerseys, the Pirates, by 1977 had different uniform styles that included two different caps, two different undershirts, three different jerseys and three different pairs of trousers. They would actually rotate these styles daily until returning to the basic white and grey uniform ensemble in 1985. In 1976, the National League celebrated its 100th anniversary. To coincide with it, certain NL teams wore old-style pillbox hats complete with horizontal pinstripes. After the season, the Pirates were the only team to adopt the hats permanently, and kept the hat through the 1986 season, which would be Barry Bonds' rookie season with the team. The hats, which recall the team's last World Series championship season, remain popular items in the throwback market. The 2013 season marked the last of one of the team's former logos, introduced in 1997 just after former owner Kevin McClatchy took over the team. The Pirates chose to use the P on their caps as the primary logo, however, the former logo will continue to be used as a secondary logo. On December 13, 2014, the Pirates unveiled a new camo alternate jersey, which honors the soldiers in the armed forces. It was worn on every Thursday home game during the 2015 season. On February 18, 2016, the Pirates unveiled a new throwback alternate uniform in the style of the 1979 team. This uniform features yellow jerseys and old-style pillbox hats.
It will be worn on every Sunday home game during the 2016 season.